Hey guys, I'm Nick May from The Business Brush. Today, we're gonna to be talking about creating policies and procedures in your business. Stay tuned. So when I talk to potential customers, when I go in and do an estimate appointment with our customers, one of the things that I tell people that is one of our big USPs or unique selling propositions is that we have systems and policies and procedures in our business. And that's really the biggest thing that separates us from the competition. Why is that important? Because we've all talked to customers that have had bad experiences. We've probably had bad experiences ourselves. Contractors don't show up. They make empty promises. They say one thing and they do another. Problems happen on the job. Things get broken. There's all sorts of things that happen because we don't have systems, policies, and procedures. And we're not alone, guys. We're not the only business owners that have problems with this. It's rampant. It's a problem in all small businesses because we're running around, we're doing all of these things. But if we slow down and we take our time and we create policies and systems, then it's going to be a game changer for you. A game changer. I remember 15 years ago when I didn't have systems and policies and procedures in my business, and I only had probably five or six guys, and I was running around like a chicken with my head cut off because I was constantly putting fires out. Why do those things happen? Because we're constantly doing things differently or we're doing things new all the time. When you create policies and systems, it streamlines things. A, it gets rid of all the superfluous, that's a big word, crazy stuff, all the superfluous stuff that we don't need to be doing in our business because they don't make us money, because we don't enjoy doing it, when we only do a few things and we do those really well, we're more efficient, we're better, and it's easier to make money. So how do we start? Where you wanna start is with the basics. How do you paint a room? Probably 80% of what we do as paint contractors, if you do residential painting, is simply just walls and ceiling. Probably not even trim. I would say on our jobs, we probably only do trim 30% of the time. So that means 70% we're either doing just walls or walls and ceiling. So we start there. What do you want your team to do when they first walk into the house? Write it down, exactly what you want them to do. Do you want them to put booties on? Do you want them to put some kind of runner down on the floor? Do you want them to take their shoes off? Whatever it is, you have to write it down. You can't just tell people because over time, things get changed. We've all played the telephone game. When you tell one person, then that person tells another person, that person tells another person. And then by the time it's over, when you said, hey, go get me a cup of coffee, it's, hey, go get me a Milk Duds. I don't know. Um, but things get changed when it's just simply told. So we have to make sure we write them down and don't leave anything to chance. Just start with the basics and then you just keep adding and keep adding and keep adding. So the first thing we do is we go in, we put runners down, we set up our shop. What does that look like for you? How do you want that to look like? Do you bring in a table or do you put it on the floor? What does your standard equipment package look like? What should every team have? You should have those items listed out on paper so that you know exactly what each team should have and if they don't have it, then you need to get it for them. Then once you figure out what it looks like to walk into the project, then what do they do when they first start a new area? How do you put drop cloths down? When do you tape? Do you caulk? What do you do for prep on the walls? What do you do about furniture moving? Write it down, step by step by step. I know it's tedious, but I bet you, if you sat down one Saturday a month, then you would slowly have a manual written out. So if you want help with this, we actually have a manual that we've created and we sell to paint contractors. So if you want to get a copy of that, you can go to thebusinessbrush.com and go to the contact us form and just send me uh, a request for that. But once you create systems and processes in your business, then your customers are gonna be happier, your employees will be happier, you will be happier, and you will make more money. Do me a favor, give me a comment below. Make sure that you have subscribed to this channel. And would you please, please, please share this on either Instagram, Facebook, or LinkedIn. I'm Nick May from The Business Brush. See you next time.